So first of all, oh, why am I not in focus? Am I? Okay. Hey guys, my name is Callie and I'm the creator of Glazed Epoxy. And today I wanted to show you guys all about how to do an epoxy geode or glitter um, on your makeup palettes. So this one here is the Morphe 35OM. Let's see if I can open it. These are always so hard to open. So here we have the beautiful and like, do you guys not see like that mirror finish? Like it is so shiny. This is the Artisan Epoxy, just one coat. And um, so you can have any kind of palette that has a just more plain or flat or anything and you want to make it more special, um, you can coat it with epoxy and just kind of give it that extra, extraness, you know, like this palette is only, I think like about 15, $18 from Morphe. There's usually a pretty cheap and it's just kind of a plain black case. So if you want to make something more special, maybe as a gift, maybe as just like a keepsake, if you just really love that palette or it's, you find a palette created by somebody you really love. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I did this one, but I also wanted to show you guys the original ones that I did a year ago. So I did, this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's hard to see, but this one just has glitter and I did some pearl mica and then left it clear. So I'll show you the inside of this one as well. So there's that. And this one's actually signed by her. I met her and um, she gave away some signed palettes. So that was really cool. So I just wanted to put epoxy and glitter on it to make it more of a special kind of keepsake thing. And then I also did the Tati palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. And I did break the mirror, like it's cracked, I know. But I love this palette and the, I mean, it's a beautiful palette already. Like it just has the Tati Beauty in kind of that coppery color. But I wanted to make it really special and just glamorous. So I did this really pretty geode. And I actually did a video on these two palettes on my makeup channel last year. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I did the Morphe palette. And then I will kind of just attach to this video parts of the other one. So the first step, I prepped it with final sand, and then I lost the footage of me spray painting it, but just spray painting it black, pretty simple. So I Pinterest, or I, I went on Pinterest and found a geode kind of shape that I kind of really liked, that it kind of gave me an idea of what I was drawing, and started with this gold paint pen and just kind of did little squiggly lines all over and using a thinner and thicker just kind of going back and forth and drawing lines on the whole thing. So in order to make it look more natural, you want the lines to be slightly squiggly and just not perfect. And you want the lines to kind of go with each other, but also not be completely like parallel and symmetric. Like just try to make it look a little more imperfect if you can. That's what's going to make it look the most realistic like a geode. So I'm adding some of the copper color course you could just do gold or you could do any colors you wanted I just felt like it would be nice to add some copper and I just kept adding and kind of filling in and drawing little extra lines here and there or thickening up little lines um, just yeah until I was happy with it So here's the silver one.
adding some glitter using some Mod Podge, just pouring it in a separate little cup so it's easier to paint on. Just kind of next to one of the little lines and just painting it on. Then adding this, this is one of my favorite glitters that I have, um, should be coming out soon. I know I keep saying that, but things keep coming up and you know, when life throws things at you, you just, you just got to deal with it. So, um, just kind of adding in different spots of glitter where I felt like it would look good. So using this kind of chunkier color or the chunkier, it's kind of like a silvery white. adding right below that just the same color just in a smaller cut of glitter and you could totally do it with just kind of whites and silvers or whatever color you wanted I wanted to add a little pop of color so I'm using this kind of deep teal and this is just a really fine cut. Then adding in the very center this kind of like iridescent, really pretty kind of green shimmery color. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just really pretty. And I thought it would look really nice with that teal color. And I'm obsessed with how this looks. It's so pretty. So you, I mean, you could do whatever colors you want. This is just what I chose to do on this palette. So I just kind of added a little bit more of that color in a couple of different spots. rust-oleum spray and I just spray the whole thing so that way there's no kind of like line where there was some and wasn't some then I think I did three coats of that just to be sure the glitter wasn't gonna move then once that was completely dry I took just this of course TJ Maxx because I'm always at TJ Maxx um, bag and just taped it around so that we didn't get any epoxy on the rest of the palette Then this part was really tricky because I wanted it open so it wouldn't drip. And I was trying to get it to level. It took a little bit, but I finally figured it out how to make it sit there level like that. So making sure your surface is level is key. You don't want everything sliding off to one side and just being not level. Like it's super important. So taking my epoxy, this is just the Artisan regular formula just taking my hardener first and then the resin and I did mix up two ounces or 60 mls but I don't I know I didn't use it all I'm not sure exactly how much I used I want to say about 20 so then just mixing that for a couple minutes until it turns clear Then pouring it on and just completely spreading it out evenly just really slowly I don't like to just pour it on and let it drip off the edges as much when I'm doing projects like this I think it's best to add less and then you don't have to deal with everything dripping and getting all goopy everywhere so just go in with a little bit of time and add as you need
then just using a torch to help pop any little bubbles that are remaining. Then once that was dry, I just did the one coat. You could do more if you wanted to, but I thought one was fine. So just take the tape off and the epoxy geode palette is complete. Thank you for coming to this video. So today I wanted to talk about my fun adventures doing epoxy on my makeup palettes. So first of all, the coloring makes me want to cringe. Like I look orange and green and it's so dark. Like I look sick. I don't know. I don't know why I thought this was okay to, to do. I feel like this was so long ago and I've changed so much and learned so much about filming and videos and all of that but let's just start watching it's been really fun i've been really getting into epoxy and all the cool stuff you can do with it and crazy colors so if you guys want to check out what i've been doing let's get into this video So recently my husband got into selling epoxy. He is part owner in the company DIY Epoxy Countertops and we've been really having fun getting into all the cool things you can do with epoxy, not just on countertops, but like wall art and coasters and I don't know, we're just, it's been really, really fun because there's so much you can do with it. So the other day I thought, hey, what if we could just do epoxy on my makeup palettes and make them look even prettier. So the first one I did is my Jaclyn Hill original palette. So I just took and made it all glitter and sparkly. I hope you guys can see that. If not, I'll insert some clips where you can see it better, but it's so pretty, so sparkly, so shiny. And then this part right here is just so smooth. This is my signed one. So I have Jaclyn's signature on there. So I'm not actually gonna use this one. I'm just gonna keep it. And now it's even more beautiful. So if you don't know anything about doing epoxy, it's basically two different components and you mix them and you mix it really well and then you can pour it on things and it hardens. You can add color, you can add glitter, you can do whatever you want with it. It's just really cool. I would definitely suggest doing your own research and finding out about different safety precautions and safety equipment that you should be using and where to do it and all the ventilation and all that. Um, make sure you really research and feel comfortable with that before you start doing anything with epoxy. But we've done some cool countertops, we've done some cool art, we've done a lot of cool things. When Josh first started selling it, I was just kind of like, oh yeah, that's cool. I didn't really feel like I was going to like start getting into it and doing things like this with it. And then, then it just happened. So I did this one. Then I found out that Jacqueline had her second palette coming out. So I ordered two of them, one for myself and one to give away. And I thought what a cool way to give it away is to make it all glittery and sparkly. So this is the Jaclyn Hill palette volume two. So I'll open it up. So that is what it looks like. So I'm giving this one away. I will have my giveaway video up hopefully. So go check out that video if it's up already and how to enter if you want to win this sparkly glam palette because it's gorgeous. And then I had a thought about what if I could do my brushes because a lot of people do these really cool epoxy cups, tumblers, whatever you want to call them. And you get this little spinny thing. So we got the spinny thing. We're trying out the cups, but I thought, what if you could do makeup brushes? So I took my, this one's just a cheap makeup brush that I had. Um, and it just had a black handle. So I added some pretty glitter and now it's just this really pretty, 
sparkly makeup brush. I think I want to add clear to it so it's really nice and smooth because right now you can kind of feel the glitter whereas on the palettes you can feel a little bit but not like it you definitely feel it on the brush so I think brushes would be nicer to have smooth and then that way you can clean them easy. But I just thought it turned out so pretty and this has black epoxy underneath. So if you want, if you did just more clear epoxy and did like silver glitter or gold glitter, like the possibilities are endless with epoxy and it's, it just makes it so pretty. Like I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of in love with it now. So then I also, did my took my Tati Beauty which was broken so the mirrors cracked and it, I've been using it a lot already but I thought why not just do something cool on the top so I did this really cool black white and gold like geode so with this one um where you see these gold lines I did hot glue first so I laid down some different lines with hot glue then I painted it this pretty gold then once that was dry then I did the epoxy so I did black, white, pearl, and clear, and I did the clear in the middle so you could still you could still see the Tati Beauty name shining through. I just think it looks so cool, and it just makes the palette just heavier and more beautiful and just more of something to like collect and look at. I don't know, like I just th I think it looks so pretty but all the cool things that you can do with epoxy I'm so excited about I want all my palettes to look this good now so I have a lot of palettes I'm gonna keep doing this I will definitely link everything below where you can get the epoxy and tips and stuff on how to do it uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have ever done anything with epoxy or if you want to I think it's I just can't get over how beautiful it looks I feel like you can just throw it together and no matter what it just looks good because the different colors and stuff do these cool things you could spray alcohol on it and it kind of creates these little like pockets and does cool things you can make it look like ocean waves with a heat gun I just love it that is it for this video you guys I just wanted to kind of share my cool new hobby I guess with you guys and hopefully you guys like it and also don't forget to check out my giveaway video on how you can win this palette. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm getting back into doing three videos a week. I had a couple weeks where I wasn't really doing much, but now I'm back on it. So please subscribe, ring the little notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload, and I will see you in the next video. All right, so yeah, that was the video. Oh, things have changed. <laughs> Um, with the epoxy business, with me doing epoxy, like if I got to see into the future and see this room, then like I would have been like, there's no way that that's what I'm doing with my life. Like there's like, I could never have imagined this. So I just think it's so cool. Um, also please subscribe if you haven't and click the little bell, the notification bell, if you want to be notified when I upload. Um, yeah, and that is it for this video. I hope that this inspired someone to not only put epoxy on makeup palettes because maybe that's not what you want to do, but I just think, you know, just kind of opening your mind and just thinking outside the box and just seeing what you can do, what your creativity leads you to. Um, I'm always thinking about new things, wanting to try new things, test the limits of the epoxy and just, yeah, like it is, it's just really fun. And I'm so glad that all of you are loving what I'm doing and supporting me in this. It's just been so much fun and I can't wait to see where this journey goes. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.